Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge 360. In the previous video, we had seen how we can connect a PostgreSQL server using pgAdmin, using psql tool that is the SQL cell and also using dbweaver tool. So in this video, I will show you how we can create a database using the, all the three tools. So let's start one by one and I will also show how we can access a database and create sample tables. Okay, so let's start by creating through pgAdmin. First, we need to log in to our server or we can add a server. Once you have already added a server, then go to databases. By default, uh, you must remember that there is one default database that is the Postgres database. And this is the maintenance database as well. Okay, so but we need to create our own database as well. So for that, just right click on databases, go to create and click on database and in the database section you can give database name suppose test db and all the parameters are also there you can change the owner you can change the definitions everything you can specify but as of now i'm not going through this when i cover the create database uh, at dba level i'll cover all these things okay so for now we'll create the database and also you can check the sql command that is being executed behind this okay so this is the command i'll save it it will create the database so one database is al already created here okay and also you can see within this database there is one schema by default that is the public schema and here also as we know we can create our own schema as well by right click here and then create schema okay so we'll cover these things later in the videos okay the database is created now we need to access the database simply uh, you need to select the database and uh, you need to open the query tool if you open the query tool you will see that the query tool is opened with test db then slash postgres and the connection url okay so that means we are accessing the this database okay and let's create table say emp okay when i created this table this table must have created within this public schema and then within the table emp okay so this is this was about creating database using pg admin okay now i'll show you how we can create a database using psql tool and how we can access through psql tool pg admin tool was simple it was gui interface so we did that for psql tool we need to provide the command we can write like this create database database name we can say i can give like this psql db and enter okay the create db is done now we need to access the database but here is the challenge that whenever we access the database because we have connected if you can see we have connected through postgres user sorry postgres database so the default database that is pointing to is the postgres not the database that we have created so for that what we need to do is we need to change the search path to our other database that we want to access that is the psql db in our case okay so for that we need to write like this set search path to then the database here psql db okay so search path is set okay so now let's check the database we can write query like this select version if we are able to access it or not yes we can access the database and also we can check the other details l okay so what are the all the databases that are created in our server that is the test db we created using pg admin and here psql db that we created using psql tool okay so also we can create a table and we can perform other operations as well so this is how we create a database using psql okay now i'll show you how we can create a database using dbweaver tool so for that we need to create a connection otherwise also we can uh, create like this go to connection go to postgresql and then we can connect a database i have already a connection so i'll use that one if i show you this is the postgres and the database is here now i'll create a new database so for that right click on the postgres the connection name you can go through like this create and then database otherwise you can directly create on database and go to create new database option okay give the database name i can give database name like this dbweaver db 
and the owner is postgres and and click on ok database is created now i can access that database as well okay i can create tables as well so for that i'll open a sql editor create table test i'll execute this the table is created now if i refresh it let's see okay the table is created within the dweaver database so this is how we create database and access the database using dweaver so to confirm if everything went correct i'll come to pg admin that is the default tool provided by postgres i'll refresh the database section okay here we can see all our four databases are reflecting here because one database is default uh, that is provided with the installation that is the postgres one we created the test db uh, through pg admin one we created through psql tool and one we created the through dweaver tool so this is how we can create a database and access database using different kind of tools okay so in this video we learned this thing and if the video was helpful do like the video and in the next video we'll see how we can load a sample database using all the three tools so subscribe my channel to get the notifications till then take care bye bye